What up players, it's Wobots to update this mud really quick tutorial on part two of our Chaos Warrior of Corn here. This is just the shading, but as you can see, the shades really start to bring out some nice looking highlights in, or nice just looking depth in our model. So the three colors you're gonna need are Nuln Oil, Agrax Earth Shade, and Karaberg Crimson. Hope you guys have an easy time of it. It should be really easy. The only, the hardest thing is if you're doing more than like five or ten of these guys, even if you're doing more than one, you want to be careful that you watch all of them to make sure that the shades don't pool in the recesses, which they have a tendency to do. You want to just keep moving them around, dry off your brush, and um, just you know keep an eye on the shades so they don't leave any horrible, horrible watermarks. I find that with the new shades, the watermarks are much worse than with the other, the older ones, but that could just be me because I don't really care for the new paints as much as I did the old ones. So I hope you guys like this one. Uh, stay tuned for the next video on when we start doing highlighting. It'll be awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Laters! Alright, what up, players? We are back. Let's uh, continue on, shall we? Let's keep on with the keeping on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give our awesome armor a lovely shade of Caraberg Crimson. And the Caraberg Crimson is a beautiful color. It's a beautiful dark red. And um, don't worry about getting this on the gold as well because the gold is really just there as a base color for us to highlight later on. So it's okay if we get it on the gold. So I'm reading more about Warhammer Fantasy, the uh, Chaos Warriors, and I've actually got this book that I forgot that I had from Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 2nd Edition. It's got this awesome section on it that's devoted to the tribes of the North, and um, talks about like the Norse, which is the closest to civilization. Usually they're the ones when they talk about Chaos tribesmen from the north coming down to raid the Southlands. The the Norsemen are usually among the 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 armies, and um, it talks about how most of them are barbaric and just care about raiding and pillaging and slaughtering. But then some of them actually Agrax Earthshade. Some of them actually. Um, come down to the Southlands to hire themselves out as like um, bodyguards, mercenaries. Um, they're they're not very academic, so they're not. You, you won't find them, you know, studying at any loose universities or lecturing about the Norse, um, the Northman way of bartering and tribal living, but. But it is cool to, to, to know that in the history at some point, in the fluff, there are chaos marauders, or men from the villages where the marauders come from, who don't only care about pillaging and murdering and, and raiding the Southlands. Um, I think there was even a, a, a part in the beginning of this chapter that said that it's quite fashionable if you are a noble woman to have a Norse bodyguard, a big blonde burly bodyguard, and that it has been known for them to also be like romantic consorts. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. With their uh, employers. We're also gonna take the Agrax Earthshade and put it onto the horns up here. Try to keep it off the armor, but if it gets on the armor, that's okay. It's close enough, dark enough, close enough to the red uh, caribou crimson that it shouldn't be too bad if they if it gets on the helmet. But yeah, overall you wanna keep the keep the Agrax Earthshade only on the horns, and also give it a nice light going over on the metallics. And the leathers. Okay, then we're gonna take Nuln Oil, and we're gonna put that on the silvers as well. And we're also gonna put it on to the uh, fur trim. So we've got Nuln Oil. I 
Now the old Bedab Black was, I felt, darker than Nuln Oil, and it still kept its shine. So when you would cover something with, with Bedab Black, it would really give it a real dark uh, shading and tone. This new Nuln Oil seems to have like a little bit of a duller finish, I've found. You paint it on and it doesn't, doesn't seem to to uh, tie the colors together as well as the old Badabra Black. I'm also gonna go over the silver metallics with that. And here, especially on the chain mail on the front. All right, and now we wait because we don't want any of the shade to pool in ugly, nasty water, leave us ugly, nasty watermarks. Especially you wanna be uh, keeping an eye on the bottom of the cloak. Wanna watch out for any pooling shades here and just kind of brush it off. Cause that's where here in these recessed areas, the shading seems to want to gravitate to the most. So here at the bottoms of the horns. So basically you just kind of keep an eye on your guy now. Let all this stuff dry and be aware of any pools like here, like I said at the bottom. Just keep coming back because you never know, you turn your back for one moment and then the next thing you know there's this horrible pooled um, oily shade puddle and it is a pain to paint over. Alright, we're gonna come back. This is kind of how your guy should look now. The Carabird Crimson really deepens the reds. And uh, once this is dry, we're gonna go back over the, the gold on the shield, give it a little bit of a highlight, and, um, and then continue working with this guy. So I hope you guys liked it. This is part two. Again, the only three colors you need are Nuln Oil, Agrax Earthshade, and Carabird Crimson. Triple fisting, woo! All right, thanks for watching, players. See you in the next one.